Hi everybody, it's Daniel and it's my turn. Uh, Chengdu has a lot of historical, cultural and internet famous sites. But today we're gonna ask our foreign friends if they were to be a tourist guide, which places would they recommend for their friends to go to? I think it's gonna be very fun. Let's go and find out. I'm from Sri Lanka. I'm from South Africa. From I'm from Australia. The Sigiriya Temple in Sri Lanka and then we've got Kandy, where we've got the tea fields, the tea plantations, oh, yeah. and some uh, like the British Old Quarter in Colombo, it's quite popular. Right. Yeah. Right. I think the most recognized place in South Africa is probably Table Mountain. Alright, what is it like? So that's in Cape Town and it's a perfectly flat mountain and from a distance it looks like a table sitting there with the clouds being basically a tablecloth. Um, and we've got the Sydney Harbour Bridge and the Sydney Opera House, I think. In the south, there's this bridge uh, in a in a park called the London Bridge, and uh -huh. it's just like a a London Bridge replica. It's like a really small one that not a lot of people know about, but it looks quite cool. Uh, Chinchang. Xinjiang. Yeah. Xinjiang. 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 I'm not sure if I'm uh, going to The global center, well, I assume the global center would be pretty famous. Yeah, uh, I like going there. I would recommend the Kuan Shan 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 the famous bridge. Ah, Joanne Chow. That one. Yes. And there's that cool like strip down yes. there. And yes. there's like lots of bars and stuff there and a lot of live music. Uh -huh. And it's so cool because you can like jump around from one bar to the next and do some bar hopping. Uh -huh. And everyone has like a different theme of music. Yeah. So that's really cool. Yeah. Uh, I usually go to the park. Uh, yeah, I like boxing, so I mean I like to go to, uh, there's a chain of clubs called Kunlun, uh, which are very very good, there's a lot of good instructors there and a lot of good people like to go there, which is cool. That's the 339 tower. Wow, how do you know so fast? Because I think there's only one tower in Chengdu. Right, right. <laughs> Can't say as I do. Sorry, <laughs> I've only been here three weeks. All right, all right, that's all right, that's fine. Uh, what does it look like? Uh, it looks like a golf tee. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, it's actually a TV tower. Have you seen this? Uh, maybe I've seen it from a distance, but I haven't right. come close. Global Center. That's Global Center. Global Center. How did I forget Global Center? <laughs> it's uh, it's it's the park that I was uh, talking about just across uh, Global Center. Right. And I go there like every weekend and just run and then just get lost because it's such a big park. They say it's like the central park of Chengdu. So I don't know if that does it any justice. Wow. Oh, dude, what's the name of the bridge? That's a very good question. Wow, this is the famous global center and I'm finally here after a year and a half in Chengdu. Obviously our city has many places for whatever you like, be it history, arts, music, sports, food, fashion, you can find anything here. But uh, if you ask me, my favorite place is probably Dongjiao GE and I would take you here if you come. And if you're in Chengdu yourself and your friends come here, which place would you recommend them to go to?